crazy. Long way down. Okay, I need to get to a light way up there, but I got stairs and um, no way to position the ladder. But what I got is a block of wood with some plywood set up. So I can actually turn this thing sideways and rest the ladder on the flat portion of the stairs. It's a matter of uh, positioning. There is going to be good. And I can take this. Try it all the way. And get my positioning. That way I can change this puppy out. Because, you know, that's pretty crazy. And what really sucks on these is matching the color temperature sometimes. So, you know. And then these things got so many caps. It's pretty tricky. Yeah, because it's a long way down. All right. Here we go. Let's see if I can link my camera for a better view. I think it's a long way down there. And of course, it would. would. Right now, standard procedure. Okay, we'll see. Crazy long way down. Okay, I need to get to a light way up there, but I got stairs and um, no way to position the ladder but what i got is a block of wood with uh, some plywood set up so i can actually turn this thing sideways and rest the ladder on the flat portion of the stairs just a matter of uh, positioning i think right there is going to be good Try it all the way and get my positioning. That way I can change this puppy out because, you know, that's pretty crazy. And what really sucks on these is matching the color temperature sometimes. So, you know, and then these things got so many caps. It's pretty tricky. Here we are, sort of, kind of next to it. Yeah, it's got three caps. So I just get them started loosening. Okay, and this one's got a couple fluorescents. So. I definitely should have brought better rag to clean this out. But it is what it is. So Got my fluorescence. I'm gonna hope all the ballasts work.
can. Squeeze it on the can there. There you go. Okay. And the second one, at least I can see it. And it's that a little bit easier. And again, hopefully the ballast works. It's a long way down. I'll show you that after. There we go. Yeah, I should have brought a rag. These are just filled with dust. Done. Whew. That was a tough one. Yeah, because it's a long way down. All right, done deal. Okay, changing out another high up unit. Got my block of wood here, so it's nice and straight in theory. And going on up. Yeah, I got my lights prepped in my pocket. A couple different kinds in case it's a different. Deal. Yeah, these are fun. I'm crazy. I brought a rag with me this time. So I can clean it once I'm up there. Alright. Here we go. Let's see if I can link my camera for a better view. I think it's a long way down there. And of course, someone would fit me right now. Standard procedure. Okay. Here we go. So with these, you got three screws. Easy to drop stuff. And if you do, you're just going to have to let it go. Because it is what it is. Okay. Here's the light cover. Let's see if I can balance this out right here. Oh, and we got fluorescence. One. Goodness gracious. So, let's see if I can get one in and get some light on the subject. Yay. And there's the second one. Uh, 
definitely going through a lot of these bulbs. Okay. This side I can see it, so it makes that a little easier. There it is. Okay. So now, put the lights back in the box and in theory back in my pocket. light lens cover. That's looking good. Okay. And now put it back up there. Whole other story. This is where it gets really tricky. One hand. There's that. There's that one. There's the one I can see. Couldn't see so well. Okay, hopefully that came out on film. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Crazy. Long way down. Just a couple of easy ones that are not so not so high up. I'll just show you these. The difference between that one way up there and this one right here. With these, you got these three screws. It's still crazy even when you're down here. I haven't tried just taking off two screws to see can we slip it out and do things with just. Looks like you can. That might be a way to go. Rather than taking all three of them off. And then try to slip the cover back in. Although, I don't know. All units. It's going to be a good idea or a bad idea. But it will make lining up the feel easier. So I think I'm going to go with that on next few. It's taking off two of them and sliding it out. Alright. But that's putting the lighter up there and dealing with all that madness. Oh boy. Okay.
got to be ready for the Lord's return. The Lord is going to come for His bride anytime. Uh, Jesus came to seek and to save those that were lost. That was me. We've all missed the mark. Every person sinned and come short of the glory of God. But Jesus took the punishment that we rightfully deserve on Himself at the cross, and He gives His righteousness to those that believe on Him. So if you haven't put your trust in Him, call out to Him to save you. It's a gift of salvation. You can't earn it. He did it all on the cross, and He calls us to a loving relationship with Him. So you are invited to be reconciled to God, something that was impossible. God is holy, and our sin separated. But without God, it was impossible. But God came to save us. He sent His Son, Jesus. You know, again, He took all of our sin on the cross and uh, gave Himself so that we could be justified in Him. So call out to Him, get into the Bible, into the Word, and start to grow so that you're protected from deception. There's strong delusions out there, strong deception. And Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. He's the only way to the Father. He's the only way to God. So don't, don't get tripped up or tricked. And don't, don't miss out on what is yours through Jesus. You know, call out to Him today. Don't wait. Time is short. He's going to return for His people. And uh, if you missed it, and you find yourself in the tribulation, call out to Jesus to save you. Uh, you'll likely die for your faith, but still, like, you have eternal life. The tribulation only lasts seven years, so if you find yourself in part of it, you know, it's not going to be long before everything's finished anyway. Seven years is not a long time, although in the tribulation it's going to seem like a long time. But be faithful unto death. That means trusting in Jesus all the way. Um, there's probably not going to be a lot of food, um, and it's going to be a difficult situation. But uh, you, can, you can still have eternal life through Jesus, because again, He took all of our sin on Himself at the cross. So put your trust in Him today so you don't miss out and uh, so that you have the covering because He is the Lamb, the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. All right, stay safe out there. God bless. God bless you. Thank you.